It's our suits actually glow and throw light on the other actors in the sets, so it's practical. It's split, man. It was really about innovating technology. It was taking things that we already knew and pushing the envelope. That was the goal, really, to say, here's the first, here's the technological advancement in a costume for a movie. Here's a world that's all digital. There's not really going to be a seamstress. That was really the hardest part, is to kind of get your head around, wait a minute, how are things made? If it's all materialized, then we don't need buttons, we don't need zippers, we don't need any kind of enclosures. So how do we put stuff together? How does somebody get dressed? And we had to come up with a way to sew fabric together so that it didn't look like it was stitched together. Neville, Page, and Joe Kaczynski had worked on concept art. They had these incredible sweeping line gestures, like these beautiful concepts for the costume with light everywhere. <laughs> and you're going, but wait, his arm has to bend, and when he takes the disc, you know, I've never seen a light that could move like that on someone's body without breaking. How do we do this? What we do here is we take the designs of the costumes and we start with a sculpting process. After those pieces are cast and body shopped, the final molds are made. These costumes are special effects costumes and what makes it special effects costumes is the fact that we are adding light to all the costumes. These are all foam rubber suits. They all have integrated electronics that are inside them. Uh, completely flexible, even the lights are flexible overall. With inside this foam rubber suit is a whole matrix of wiring, and they all start from a centralized place in the back where we actually connect into. This will drive all the power. Ready to go clubbing. four layers, right? So I have like a bit of foundation, which kind of sucks everything in, and then like a barrier, and then like this other electronics thing, hence the uh, lights, and then this part, which is like a latex balloony type material that kind of, you know, sticks on. <laughs> The technology to do these types of films has grown in such leaps and bounces.